Hello and welcome to AMD and Device Authority's industrial IoT security demo with ThingWorks. So what this demo is going to show you is how Device Authority's Keyscaler platform can enable security on AMD's Ryzen embedded devices through data crypto and device authentication. We're also going to look at how this is integrated into the ThingWorks application. So really the first thing we're going to take a look at is end-to-end data-centric crypto. Uh, to demonstrate this, I have created a ThingWorks mashup. So in the first row, we can see the Ryzen embedded chip pair, which has a device authority agent. This is what allows the crypto to take place. This runs as a process on the device, and this basically sits and encrypts data. So this value four, this is, for example, a value that comes into the device from a different process, or the device generates this value itself. Uh, but before this value 4 is sent across the network, it's going to be intercepted by the Keyscaler crypto agent before it's transmitted onto a public network, indicated by the second row. And as we can see here, this is a plain text value now converted to ciphertext as it travels through the internet. And as the data comes into the data center, it will be encrypted at rest. And as I start to click on the rows in this database, the encrypted values, we will actually see in this window here that when I click on this row, this ciphertext is decrypted to value two. What happens behind the scenes here is when I click on this row, there's gonna be a device authentication between the ThingWorks server and the Keyscaler platform. And if successful, the Keyscaler platform is going to say, okay, you are good, I'm gonna give you a key. And then ThingWorks can then apply that key to decrypt this ciphertext and get value two. And the other feature that I'm going to show you next is the capability of quarantining devices. So let's say if there were any concerns on the ThingWorks server to the point where you don't want anyone to see the ciphertext being decrypted on the platform, you can simply go into uh, Keyscaler quarantine feature. This is my ThingWorks server. It's a whitelisted device, but I'm choosing now to quarantine this device by clicking on a quarantine button. And I click yes to quarantine. And as a result, you know, it fails to retrieve the key to decrypt the ciphertext. And as a result, you know, you, you can't see anything plain text in the ThingWorks platform. And this is a handy feature if you want to quarantine a device. And equally, you can authorize the ThingWorks server if you no longer have any concerns, and you can click authorize. And the device is then put back in, in the authorized devices, and everything is back to normal. Okay, so next we are going to look at device authentication. So if you have thousands of devices connecting into your IoT platform, you wanna make sure that all of those devices really are legitimate. Uh, Keyscaler delivers a, a robust, scalable solution to, to address this problem. We're going to see, see that next. So what I've put in place here is a blue button to authenticate the Ryzen device. Now let's have a closer look at that. So when I click on that button, what's going to happen is the ThingWorks application will send an authentication request to the device. And the device will have to get a signed token from Keyscatter. And the only way it's going to get past that point is to authenticate to Keyscatter. And the device will then be able to be in a position where it can return that token to the ThingWorks platform. And when I click on this blue button, that process is going to take place. What we can see here, the Ryzen device authentication is successful. And the signed token we can see on the bottom right, we have a SIG, which is a signature that is returned back and signed with the private key of the Keyscaler system. And ThingWorks will have the public side of that key. And it can use that public key to validate that signature. And that way, it can determine, okay, that device is a legitimate device. And again, we also have the quarantine feature here. So we can quarantine the AMD device. And I will find the device in my list, I will select it, and the device will be put in the quarantine list. 
and as a result, the Ryzen device fails authentication. Based on that, the ThingWorks platform can then take an action. It can disconnect this device. And again, or you can go back to the Keyscaler system and reauthorize the device. Go into the quarantine list and authorize the device, and we have a successful authentication. And with that, I want to thank you for viewing this demo. If you have any questions regarding this technology, please feel free to contact the Vice Authority. Details can be found on our website, theviceauthority.com. Thank you very much.